It's no surprise that medical school is an uphill battle. Students need to be fully prepared before they can become doctors, which is why training takes so many years. Getting into med school is its own challenge. There's no perfect advice for getting into a program because it depends on so many different factors. People end up applying to so many places with the hope of getting accepted somewhere. But once they do, they start to face a new set of challenges. Hi everyone, I'm Matt from eTactics, and today I'm going to share the five biggest challenges of going to medical school. Before we get started though, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel by clicking the button below. While you're down there, hit that alert bell icon next to it as well, so when we post new helpful content, you get notified. The first challenge is getting into a school. Like I already mentioned, there are so many factors that determine whether or not someone's accepted. The grade point average and MCAT scores both vary by a school. Some schools have a minimum standard, but acceptance will depend on how an applicant's score compares to others. The best advice is to look at the scores of the school's current med students and aim for at least that. But these aren't the only factors for getting accepted. If a school is more popular, it will be harder to get into. This is because they have higher standards and more applicants. When more people apply to a program, there's a bigger pool of people to select from. This makes the acceptance rate smaller. Because of these factors, applicants tend to send out at least 15 applications. Another challenge is the number of students. I just said how many more applicants means a smaller acceptance rate. Well, more and more people are applying to med school as it happens. The number of applicants for the year of 2021 is up by 18%. Thankfully, enrollment is also increasing, but there are still more people to compete with for a spot at a school. Now, once you're in school, you'll have to figure out how to finance it. College is already expensive, and 43% of students had pre-med debt. Tuition and fees can cost over $62,000 for med school. This puts the average debt per student at $241,000. Financing education is also difficult because of the length of schooling. On top of at least four years of undergrad is at least four years of medical school, and some students choose a six-year program. Graduation rates are higher for six-year students, but it means more debt as well. Even after the eight or more years of schooling is additional training. Graduation is followed by a residency program where students choose their specialty and then they can go and opt out to a fellowship program. But first, students need to make it that far. While graduation rates are significantly high, there's a large variation of failout rates as well. Some students do fail out, but others choose to leave a program due to personal or financial reasons. Or they might decide that being a doctor just isn't for them. While students do make some money during residency, they could be working as much as 80 hours per week. This includes single shifts that routinely last up to 28 hours long. They work more than some practicing doctors each week, but for far less compensation. Residencies can also be difficult to find. The number of available options depends on the state, and some states don't have enough to accommodate the students available. A survey found that 44% of medical student deans had concerns about the ability to find a program for their students. Of these deans, 68% were concerned about the availability in their states and 75% were concerned about the national availability. This could make it a challenge for students deciding their specialty. Even though many people apply to medical school, it doesn't mean schooling is easy. Getting accepted is its own challenge since every school has different standards and acceptance rates. And after getting in, students need to deal with costs, long programs, graduating, and finding a residency. But by the time they complete all of this, they're finally being able to be a practicing doctor. If you'd like to learn more about challenges of medical school, reach out to eTactics. And you already made it this far into the video, so you might as well like it, share it, and comment below. Well, what are you waiting for? Subscribe to our YouTube channel.